If you can't afford it, don't complain about it. Go somewhere else. Baby, I can make really outside. Tiny bean is lit. Tiny bean get the bed. Tiny bean is lit. Tiny bean get the bed. Hey, you press the subscribe button if you bad. Go eat the subscribe button if you bad. So, I thought I'd bring you guys the Why Forever I Love Atlanta series. So I've been seeing videos everywhere of people saying why I left Atlanta or why I hate Atlanta or why this Atlanta, why that Atlanta. I ain't seen one video that said why forever I love Atlanta. So I'm going to let y'all know why I will forever love Atlanta. So first things first. Of course, when you come to Atlanta, it's going to be traffic. Like, I'm going to say that's everywhere you go in every major big city. And let me tell you why. I came from Los Angeles, California. I'm from Inglewood, California. And if you know the 405 and the traffic in LA is on 10. Okay? So coming to Atlanta and being in a lot of traffic didn't really bother me because I was already used to traffic. Um, now, I do love that Atlanta has 10 lanes. Like, you could go on 75, 85, and there are enough lanes to accommodate everybody. Sometimes when I'm driving, I'm like, yeah, why is it traffic when everybody should be move moving? But guess what? It's going to be traffic because there's one person looking, looking around. It's just going to be traffic. It's some people getting off at an exit and it's the light. So those people are kind of backing into the freeway. Other than that, you know what you're getting into when you move to Atlanta. You know it's going to be traffic. So just kind of get used to it. So yeah, I still love Atlanta for that reason. The other reason I love Atlanta is because it is so diverse. I came from California, like I said, and we, when I was in school, it wasn't that diverse. Like, I went to Inglewood High School. We had Mexicans and we had black people. There was a little bit of diversity, but not enough because as I got older and I moved to Atlanta, I started learning about Dominicans and Cubans and, like, nationalities that low-key I've never heard of so that was an eye-opener right there and that's another reason why I will always love Atlanta number three of why I will always forever love Atlanta is that you will never see everything there are so many cities and little off skirt towns that you're never gonna be able to see everything in Atlanta and I yeah of course I can say Georgia but as Atlanta as a whole, there are so many little cities and places that you could go to. You're never going to be able to see it all. You're never going to be able to see every restaurant. You're never going to be able to see every gas station, every place. It's just not going to happen. The other reason why I love Atlanta, and it's going on right now. In the summertime, if you look at your weather and it says it's going to rain for an hour, it's going to rain for an hour. It's going to rain, and it's going to look like it's going to rain all day. You're going to look outside, and it's going to be so dark, and you're going to be devastated because it's a Saturday, and you're trying to go somewhere, and you got dressed, and you look real cute. But guess what? It's going to stop raining in an hour. The sun is going to come out. The clouds are going to go away, and you're going to be like, oh, my gosh, I didn't think that that was going to happen. I thought it was going to rain all day. So look at it right now. It's raining, and it's uh, 3.30 p.m., I will follow back up with you guys in about an hour to see if it's still raining. And it's going to look like a beautiful day. Watch. Forever I love Atlanta. It's like I know people hate the rain, but I try to think positive and say, okay, we got all these trees and plants in Georgia. And the only way they're going to get water is if it rains. So it has to rain to give the trees you know a little water they were dehydrated they just need a little something something and then the sun will come out okay the sun will come out forever i love atlanta number i don't even know what there is always something to do okay there is something for your kids to do no matter where you are i cannot stress this enough they have these magazines called atlanta parent websites just things that if you yourself are like, hey, it's a weekend, I want to do something with my child, what do I do? There is something to do everywhere. There are these play places on every corner in every city. 
you have the aquarium you have just so many things and places where it's not just about the adults there are things from infants all the way up to teens that you can take your kid to and they will be occupied and i love that like i i love that like coming here and being able to take my kids to like a play place and sit down and watch them play or me go play with them uh the children's museum of atlanta like oh my gosh there is so many things for your child to do here i don't want to hear any excuses of like there are free things there are things that cost there are memberships there are it's just so much i i appreciate it so much that's why i will always love atlanta like I know Atlanta has its ups and downs, but it's just so much for everybody. And yes, of course, it's always something for adults to do, no matter what it is. You could type something in on the internet like Pink Party Atlanta, and it's going to be people hosting pink parties and festivals, and it's so much even for adults to do. I appreciate that as well, because if you want to go to a hookah bar, like everybody tries to claim and say, oh, everything has hookah. No, y'all not using y'all resources. You're not using your resources. You want to go to places you see on Instagram and TikTok, and yes, they have hookah. Mind you, I love hookah. But there are places without hookah. You just have to use your resources and look. If you use your resources and look, there are so many places. There are so many different cities. There are places in Marietta, Kennesaw. Yes, that's not Atlanta. But if you just venture out and get out of the ordinary, you can find something to do and you will feel super grateful that you did there's something for everybody here reason number i don't know why forever i love atlanta okay if you agree with me comment below there's always something to do but people don't use their resources i already know that okay another one i love is that there are so many big corporations here in atlanta um I always like to live in like big cities that have corporations although I did live in St. Louis Missouri but St. Louis to me although it was like small to some people it was still big to me because they had you know big corporations there Budweiser just places that you drive around and you'd be like oh the headquarters of this is here you would never think about it so that's one thing I do love about Atlanta is it's like a big town for like headquarters or corporate offices uh, and I most definitely appreciate that because the reason I moved to Atlanta is because I work for a Fortune 500 company, which is a big corporation, and they are here as well. And I literally moved from St. Louis here, which is a blessing because you could go to some of these small towns or, you know, some other places and they're like, sorry, we don't have a location there. So it's kind of like you're kind of stuck at staying at that job wherever you live or trying to find another job. So that's another thing I love. It's just a real, real big place um, for corporate offices, businesses, colleges, all that. Okay, the other thing I like about Atlanta is that if you're good at something that you do, of course you're not the only one that does it. There are a million other people that do it, but you're still gonna get business because there are so many people in Atlanta and so many people that visit Atlanta you're always going to be in business as long as you you know have the right integrity and stuff like that you will succeed okay i don't own my own business but for example like makeup artists hairstylists people who do nails there are so many of those kind of people here you would think like it's oversaturated i don't think so there is somebody for everybody and people need we need all of these people you know, it's going to be one great makeup artist and everybody's going to want to go to that makeup artist. But it's like, you need a makeup artist in every city, every town, and not just one. We need all the makeup artists. So it's like, if you're an aspiring makeup artist, hairstylist, eyelash technician, whatever it is that you're trying to do and you're trying to accomplish in Atlanta, you can do it. I promise you. It's not oversaturated. I promise. Y'all can all do it. Okay have the right integrity and skill but you can do it i promise now don't get me wrong this traffic is crazy but look it's 4 46 and it stopped raining already give it about 40 more minutes and the sun's gonna come out 
and the clouds are going to part. Downtown is beautiful. Okay, okay, I know, I know, I know. There's a lot of homeless people downtown. There's a lot of stuff downtown that goes on, I know. But what I mean is when you're driving, let's say, to the airport or you're passing downtown, or you're on an airplane about to land at Hartsville, Atlanta. Atlanta downtown is beautiful, okay? This downtown is the downtown you put on a postcard and send to your family back home and say, look, it is beautiful. The tall buildings, the scenery, it's beautiful, okay? It's beautiful. It's the Papados here. <laughs> There is a Papados here, okay? We don't have Papados in California. We don't have Papados in St. Louis. There are Papados here, not just one. There are multiple that you can go to. So, another reason why I love Atlanta. It's expensive. Yes, yes, I know it's expensive. But if you can't afford it, don't move here. Some people move to Atlanta for the wrong reasons and they think like, oh, a lot of the women, I'm going to move here and I'm going to meet a man and he's going to have money. He's going to take care of me. If you have that type of mentality, that's on you. Like, why are you even thinking like that? How about, oh, I'm going to move to Atlanta and get a bag myself and be successful myself. How about that? So, not going to go in on that a little bit too much, but yes, it's expensive here. Yes, it's expensive. Yes, people charge a lot for things. But I learned that if you look into what goes into some of the stuff that people do, you will understand why they charge so much for that service. Like, girls will say, oh, I'm not paying for that much to get my hair done. Don't go to them then. You have choices. Like I said, it's not oversaturated. I mean, it's not oversaturated here, okay? You can get your hair done. People be like, oh, this person charged this much for hair and this person charged this much for nails. Go to the nail shop. Why are you complaining about how much somebody charges for their service when you don't even know what goes into the service? If you can't afford it, don't complain about it. Go somewhere else. There are more people, like I said, we have a million nail stylists, we have a million hair stylists, we have a million of these people. Go to a different person, okay? Don't move to Atlanta and say, oh, I hate Atlanta because they charge this much for this and this is a scam and blah, 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 blah. No, because guess what? If I was an expert at something I did, I'm charging how much I want to. Number one, me personally, I have two degrees. <laughs> what if I need to pay my degrees back and I'm building in the price of my service into what you're going to pay for? That's how it works, okay? Stop complaining about that. So... You know, I love Atlanta for people's courage, how much they charge for things, because they are good at what they do. And for instance, when I get my hair done, if my hair costs five hundred dollars to get my hair done, I expect to feel like a superstar when I walk out of the hair salon. That's why it costs that much. If you want to look the part, you pay the part. Your nails. If you if you get your nails done by somebody who's fire, and they say one hundred and fifty dollars, pay the hundred and fifty dollars. Like. The nail shop's nails don't look like certain nails, so yeah, okay, pay one fifty. We have the best content places here. If you need content, Atlanta got you. You want to take a picture in front of flower walls? You want to take a picture in front of neon lights? You want to take a picture and look like you in Dubai, Tulum? We got it. We got it. Atlanta got it. Atlanta got it. I love Atlanta. Okay, I can't stress it enough. She a baddie, she know that she press This bird glowing, I'ma say it's impressive Get to a bed however she wants You can do what you want if you want to She a baddie, she know she gon' run it up Send me the 80, you already know I'm gon' slide I be a soldier in the field for you They be acting, they ain't really outside Tiny be in this lead Tiny be get the bed Tiny be in this lead Tiny be get the bed